What's up with this place? This school's way too big. Wait, if we can't beat them on size, we're totally sunk. Well, <clears throat> next I will explain about our fine educational institution and the reasons for its establishment. I'd like to start with a proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Oh, is this principal in love with his own voice or what? Chie, he'll hear you. <coughs> Our school is closed today. But uh, because of this rare opportunity for cultural exchange, some of our students will walk you through these halls. First, though, a student body representative will say a few words. Thank you, principal. Welcome to Gekkokan High School. My name is Chihiro Fushimi. I'm a third year student and the student council president here at Gekkokan. It's an honor to meet you all today. Holy crap, that girl's unbelievable. Yeah, you're right. She is cute. I gotta say, she's the most bewitching, bespectacled beauty I've ever beheld. You guys, stop overreacting. This is the first time our school has invited another student body for a true cultural exchange. To learn about others is to learn about oneself and is the first step on the road to self-betterment. This I believe. To ensure a worthwhile experience for each and every one of you, we will do our best to help you accomplish that. So let us enjoy our time together. Thank you very much. In every category. All right, everyone, get into groups with your classmates. Oh no! Excuse me, could I bother you for a moment? This is today's schedule for everyone. Could you hand it out later, please? I forgot to do it myself. Sorry to be so disorganized. And you all came so far. <laughs> Thank you. In fact, I didn't write the speech on my own. One of the former student council presidents helped me. She was the president my first year here. And she was amazing. I always looked up to her. I should call her later and tell her the speech was a success. I'm sorry. Listen to me going on and on about myself. I have to stop babbling when I get nervous. Um, your group is scheduled for a special lecture soon. The classroom is on the second floor. I have some arrangements to make with your student council, so please excuse me. Did I just hear her say special lecture? We came all this way to be lectured? Let's see, our class is... It's being taught by someone named Mr. Etagawa. The lecture's about... Kabbalah. Kabbalah what? You don't know? It's a casino. So, when's our free period? Uh, we don't get one. We have classes all through today. Tonight and tomorrow, we'll be staying at a hotel. We'll have free time tomorrow and the day after until we leave at noon. You've gotta be kidding me! Come on, guys. Let's focus on our studies for now so we can enjoy our free time later.
here we are, the Seaside Clamshell Inn. We'll be staying here tonight. Is this really a regular hotel? So what do you think? It was me who found this place. It just opened not too long ago. It's got that modern look. And the price was right. Personally, I think it was an excellent choice. We're staying here? I mean, the sign says hotel, but... It opened recently. Dude, this totally looks like a love... You there, don't just stand there. Keep marching in. something funny about this place? Is there? We don't have these modern hotels in Inaba, so I, I can't tell. Um, this area is called Shirakawa Boulevard, and it's... That's all right, Rise. I don't think I want to know. <laughs> Faster than I expected. This is quite the hotel. If they were to meet me, I wonder... What would the look on Yosuke's face be? Oh, oh, who's that? Look, up there! <gasps> it can't be. Yeah! <laughs> Shooby dooby. Teddy? What are you doing here? The lonely bear inside of me went stir-crazy! If only I could detect people in the real world. Well, how did you come here? Do you have some special ability? No, I took the train. I swore off topsicles and saved up the money I got working at Juness. I knew where you were going thanks to Yosuke's trip guide. You guys have free time tomorrow, right? No use hiding it, I already know. How in the world did you make it here looking like that? I mean, why wear the bear suit here? I almost got thrown in the trash a couple times. But I kept hanging on to the promise Chie-chan made to go on a date with me. That's what gave me strength to carry on. Uh, good job, Teddy. <laughs> did I promise that? Oh, yeah, I do remember saying that I'd go out with you someday. I you remember, Chie-chan? Is it okay with Yuki-chan and Rise-chan, too? Let's all go together, then. Is that all right with you? Mm. It's a deal. I've been here before, so I'll show you around tomorrow. I guess we can go shopping first. And I know a great place we can hit later on. Ooh, shopping. That sounds great. <laughs> The other students don't know Port Island that well, so they're just going to go wherever the school recommends. Well, I guess a shopping spree beats a factory tour. All right, we're in two. <laughs> Leave it to me. Now, before the fun starts, we got to deal with this guy. Can't you sleep outside for the night? That suit should keep you nice and cozy. Cruelty to animals! You don't know how much trouble I went through to get here! I took the slow train all this way! Do you hear? The slow train! Now, now, you kids aren't bickering about your room allocations, are you? Crap! What's the matter? Oh! What's this giant teddy bear? My, you must have some nimble fingers. <laughs> All right, now hurry on inside with it. By the way, these rooms are amazing. Every room has a waterbed. But uh, don't flip the wrong switch when you're turning on the lights or your bed will start spinning. Anyways, I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, but I'm exhausted. For so many reasons.
I gotta pee. <laughs> 